Joe, the squad are back in pre-season training, have been for a couple of weeks now. How's things been since you made your return? Yeah, it's been excellent. Um, they've come back in in really good shape. You can see that they've done the work over the, the off-season. Um, it's a short amount of time to have off. You know, we'd, we'd like to have a bit longer if possible to, to recharge, but you know, they, they've been brilliant. Um, they've come back in with the right attitude, uh, as I say, in good shape and, and sessions have been top already. Yeah, and how important was it for the players to get that time off such an intense season, winning a cup double at the end of it, how important was to recharge for the new season? It's so important because, as, as you said, it's so intense um, and the running, you know, we played a, a week longer than, than most other teams towards the end of the season because of having a cup final, which we always planned for anyway. So, you know, it's tough. They don't get long off, so when they do have some time away, they really need to make sure they reset and, and really take take themselves away from football and, and, and rest mentally as well as physically. Yeah, and just on that cup double, have you had a chance to reflect on your achievements in your first season in charge? Yeah, do you know what? It's 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 unreal, really. Um, I couldn't have asked for more. Uh, you look at it and you go, we were, we were one point away from winning a treble. Um, and that's quite scary when you look at it. To, to see how close we were, um, it can make it feel a lot, a lot worse at times that you were so close. You know, you, you get down to the wire and, it, and it's within reaching distance. But we make sure, we, we need to make sure that we don't want to feel that way again. Um, it's not going to be as easy to do a cup double again. We know that um, it's never easy to win a league. So we've got to make sure that we're we're progressing and we're moving forward and we're not dwelling too much on last season, not too much of what we did well. Um, not too much of what we didn't do well. It's a new season, it's a new, ta new challenge. Uh, new players at different clubs, we've got new players. So, you know, squads look very different. And we, as I say, we've got to make sure we're progressing and moving forward and, and looking ahead to the new season. Yeah, and is that the real motivation for the squad, of course, as you touched on, just narrowly missing out in that league title? Was that just motivation to go one better this season? 100%. You know, we've always got to aim for the, aim for the best. We've got to aim to, to win everything. That's what we do at this club. So. We're realistic with it along the way. We know it's not easy and it's not going to be easy and, and each opponent brings their, their challenges and what they can, th they can offer against us. And we do respect that, respect every single team that we're playing against. And as you saw last year, it wasn't necessarily our head-to-heads with um, our two main rivals. It was probably elsewhere where we slipped up slightly. So we'll definitely learn from it. And um, we've just got to make sure that we put it right when it comes around. Um, and. As well as doing that, you've got to maintain your head-to-heads with your rivals as, as well as beating the rest. So it's not going to be easy. We've got to make sure that we're doing our work. Uh, we're fully prepared for it. Uh, we've got the hunger. We're ready to go. I can see it in the players. I can see it in the staff. Everybody was really excited to get back in on the first day. And as I say, everyone's been working really hard. So it's going to be exciting to see what we can achieve this year. Yeah, and you mentioned your players. How happy are you with the recruitment and the, the four players that you managed to get in so far? Yeah, you know, we've had we've had Liv in for, for six months. Um, I think that was a, a big signing for us. I think everybody in the building, as well as the fans, can see what, what she brought to the team, um, what she brought to the club. So, you know, it was, it was a big coup for us to, to keep Liv, really, because probably nobody would have expected us to, to be able to keep hold of her. But I think what we've managed to do and what we've managed to show Liv and, and the direction and the vision of the club and how we play and how she feels in this environment is huge. So managing to keep Liv was a big signing for us and managing to sign the other players along the way. Raf brings a world of experience, you know, coming from the, the teams that she's played for. Wilco's the top goal scorer in the championship and has been for many, many years. And Leah's one of the best young players in this country and will be for many years to come. So we're, we're, we've been quite particular in, in who we wanted to go after. It's important that they've had to fit into the group as people as well as footballers. Um, we've definitely seen potential in every single one of the signings that we've made. So, you know, I think there's, you can see a clear route that the one we wanted to go down. We can, we can be a little bit picky and choosy now of, of who we're picking and who we want to bring in this, into this environment and into this team. So we're really happy with the work that we've done over the summer. And yeah, the, the players are, have fitted in nicely within the group. Yeah, how important is this pre-season period to incorporate the new signing into the group, build relationships straight away for when the games start? It, it's so important. The players are fitting great though because we've got a great bunch of bunch of girls. You know, they've welcomed them in with open arms, and you can see that just straight away. One of the first things that the players is everyone's so welcoming, everyone's so nice, and we know that. And that's something that we do speak about when we're recruiting players. You know, we've got a great group of girls that you're fitting straight away with. You've not really got to fight to to get in. There's no real real clicks along the way. Um, so it's rare, it's rare you see that in team sports, um, but I really want the players to keep that. We've got a healthy environment, 
Um, we need to make sure we, we maintain that, and I've no doubt we will. And, and it'll put us in a really good place going into into the start of the season and throughout the rest of the pre-season. Yeah, and the Champions League draw just happened on earlier today. We see your side come up against Arsenal. What's your initial reactions to that draw, first and foremost? I, I don't know if I'm a little bit weird, but I quite like it. <laughs> um, you know, you either kind of want to go, um, let's give us the best possible chance, and you probably want to draw against the lowest ranked seeded teams, or you want to have a go against the best. And Arsenal and Atletico are definitely two of those. Um, we all know what Arsenal's about. They're a great team. Um, they've got uh, history in that in that tournament as well. So it's not going to be easy, but it'll be a great test for us. And it's, it's a good chance for us to have a go. You know, we've, we've missed out on Champions League football last year, so we've got to make sure we enjoy it. And we've got to make sure we prepare properly for, for Champions League football and prepare properly for the best teams in, in Europe. Yeah, and when that does roll around, how important is it that the players embrace these challenges and show that they deserve to be playing on that stage? And that's what we've been working for. You know, we always try to work ahead of ourselves. We, we've, we've probably going to be coming in a few weeks ahead of those teams as well because, you know, their league doesn't start till um, a month or so after ours does. So we've got a head start. We need to make sure we use it. We need to make sure that we're prepared, we're ready to go. We've been on the pitch, we do the work that we need to do. Um, but we've got, you know, the, the long-term vision in, in process as well. We've got to make sure we do well in this Champions League, at least put on a performance and, and play well for ourselves. And who knows what can happen. And that should hopefully set us up for the, for the league campaign coming forward. And you've, as a club, you've got links to as well with nice to potential season, familiar face season, reflect on your time there as well. Yeah, I was there a long time ago. So unless I'm seeing Vic Akers maybe in the, in the stands, then um, it's been some years past since there. But, you know, it, I, I've always held Arsenal you know, very close to my heart. I had some, I had some nice years there, won some of my first trophies there. So um, I know what such a, a great club they are and I know how well they, they treat their women's team and respect their women's team. And you can see that, I think, when you look and you see that they're selling out the Emirates every time they play there at 55,000, it's unbelievable what they're doing within the women's game. They're sat right at the forefront of it. And it'll be brilliant to go down there and be a part of a little bit of that and hopefully put on a show. Yeah, and of course the, the team will go into the international break just shortly. How good is it to see the squad so well represented in the Scotland squad, for example? Yeah, it's, it's unbelievable. We need to make sure that that continues to happen. I think when I first came in, I probably had four or five players going away with um, Scotland A team. You can see now we're doubling that. So it's, it's a good representation of the players and it, and it just shows that when they're playing well and they're training well and they're, and they're putting themselves in a position to perform, that you will get picked. I think it just shows that what we've got at this club, where they want to go, what what standards they can set. Um, you know, it uh, it's full full respect to Pedro for, for for picking these players because it could be easy to go. Well, we don't want that many players from from one team in this squad, but you know, he wants the best players for this country, and our players have definitely proved that that they're some of the best in this country, and and they will be going forward as well. So. We've got a healthy representation in Scotland. We've got Raf going away with Northern Ireland as well. So, you know, it, we've got a lot of players away. Uh, we keep a few as well. So it'll be, it'll be a healthy group that's going away and, and hopefully they'll return just as healthy. Yeah, and just lastly, how much are you looking forward to getting the group back together? You touched on the break there. Getting the pre-season schedule, the games will start as well and really going for it in the league when that rolls around. Yeah, we, we've got to. We, we, we planned ahead anyway. We knew what this, this time would look like with internationals away. Um, we've really done our work over the over the off season and towards the end of last season. Really, we started to make sure we were planning for this time. We know what it looked like. It, it didn't come as a surprise. So, we've planned for it. Um, we're ahead of where we need to be. Um, I think is a po in, in in regards to planning and where we want to be. Um, the players have come back in in great shape. I think that puts the national team in in a good position going into these these qualifiers next week. So, you know, we're, we're in good shape. I think we've got to look at it and go. We're healthy now, where can we be and what can we achieve? We always need to keep looking to strive and be better. And when we hit that target, we'll move on again and try and be better again. So we, we want to definitely make sure that we're, we're hitting the ground running come that first game of the season to Aberdeen away.